Hey guys, sitting here in the office today, I'm catching up on some paperwork, doing some notes, and I got some questions here to answer from you guys, which is awesome. Thank you for sending them in. Looks like our next question here is from Sean. Uh, wants to know a very uh, seasonably appropriate question here. With all the snow falling and all the rain out there, uh, when you're walking on the sidewalks, it can be a bit scary. If I fall, please know, will my hardware break? And that's a great question, and I can tell you that it is very, very, very rare for your hardware to break. I brought some implant parts here to show you. So this is a hip replacement uh, here, and these things are solid. This is made out of metal, and it is really, really hard to break one of these. Um, they go inside of the bone, and the bone's actually really solid and reinforced by this implant being inside there. So the chances of you breaking the implant, really, 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 really low. You can break your bone around the implant, so be really careful when you're walking, especially in the snow, the ice, the rain, the mud puddles. Don't want you slipping and breaking something else, but breaking a hip replacement, really rare. For a knee replacement, similar story. These parts are made out of metal, and they're very solidly connected to your bones. Very rare to break the metal of a knee replacement uh, part or to damage the plastic, but... Again, you can break the bone around it, the femur bone or the shin bone, so be careful. Next question here is from Greg H. Greg wants to know, what considerations do I have now regarding my new hips and scuba diving? Well, Greg, uh, not a lot of considerations, really. Scuba diving should be pretty safe as long as your incision's all the way healed, which most of them are healed by about six weeks, it's safe to submerge them in the water, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, swimming, scuba diving, very low impact when it comes to the wear on the hip replacement part, so not a lot to worry about there. In terms of dislocations or instability, swimming's a very safe activity to do, so I guess you're checking all the boxes for not a lot to worry about with that once the incision's healed up and you feel like you can do it safely. Enjoy.